people do deserve to be celebrated at the end of life as much as they are celebrated at the beginning of life. And so to be able to be part of that celebration is, is pretty remarkable. The Petemore Hospice House is beautiful. We want it to feel like home, so that way families can be with their loved ones while they're dying. It's so magnificent that uh, it just puts you at ease. Hospice is when two doctors have agreed that the patient has less than six months. We brought my brother here who'd been uh, battling cancer for about six years. He was here uh, almost two months and uh, actually, uh, actually enjoyed his time here. The facility is, is top notch. The rooms are so spacious. You can have lots of family in there. They even allow pets. Every room's door is big enough for the hospital bed to go outside. And every room has their individual patio. We have um, a family kitchen, a great, we call it the great room. It's a beautiful family room. We have a den that has books in it. We have a chapel, we have a pond out back that also we see ducks in there. and We have lots of nature. It fulfilled all of our expectations and some, especially the staff. The, the staff was, is remarkable. You really build a bond in here. I, when I came in in the morning, uh, I had uh, Kendra, who's a real sweetheart. She would go fix me a cup of coffee. So I had my, so I had my morning coffee with my brother. And, and I mean, it was just a real caring, uh, sensitive facility. We provide everything you can get when you're at the hospital. We have doctors on site, we have nurses, CNAs. We can provide IVs, oxygen, everything that's needed. We have our own types of therapy like massage therapy. We have social workers and bereavement coordinators. And so it's an entire interdisciplinary team. We had a gentleman who had a 12-year-old daughter. And um, he was, as he was getting closer, the 12-year-old looked at mom. And she's like, mom, if he dies at home, we have to move. And, she, and the mom looked at me and she's like, I can't take him home. She's like, I'd love for him to die in our home, but that's our home and my daughter has to be comfortable. It's a blessing to be that last person to touch somebody and let them know that they're safe, let them know that they're not alone, they're comfortable and peaceful. You don't have to worry about anything. I mean, it takes such a relief from the family and you know when you leave here that he's got quality care. Pete Moore Hospice House really relies on donations. We don't want to have to close any of our doors because we can't staff. And so with donations and support from the community, we really get to keep the, the house open and we everybody gets to use the hospice house in its entirety and the benefits that it really has to as many people as possible.